Here we've got this Kaiser chest press, which is an awesome chest press option for you in addition to the Cybex one. There's a couple other setup things on this one. So we've got the seat height, which there's these little numbers down here. You wanna make sure you set that up to the right height for you based on what I've told you it should be at. And then we've got the position of the arms here. There's position one, which is all the way back and a little more horizontal. Position four, which is more forward and a little bit more up and forward as you push. For most of you, I've probably told you either two or three. So depending on what I've told you, just make sure that's in the right spot. In terms of getting you set up on the machine, we always want to, on a chest press in particular, uh, make sure that if I sit forward a little bit, or even if I don't, and then I pull my hands back as far as I can, do they make it to the handles? If my hands only come back to here, that means I need to be on position number three so that the machine isn't forcing me back any further than I can actually take myself under my own power. I can get my hands all the way back to position number two, which means that's where I will be able to set up the machine from. So I'm getting myself set up on it by making sure that that's where I can bring my hands back to. Our intention on this is to entirely 1000% convince yourself that the handles don't move forward, but the seat moves backwards. The kind of common example of this would be in a push-up. You push into the ground, but your body moves. In your brain, you need to 1,000% believe that these handles do not move and the seat is what moves backwards. So you're trying to push yourself back into the seat. Now, obviously the handles travel forward, but if in your brain you entirely, entirely convince yourself that the seat is what's moving, that's what's gonna help us stay away from a lot of the things that can go wrong on this machine. Things like the shoulders rounding, or I'm leaning forward, or I'm not uh, using the proper tempo when I go forward. If you're really truly intending on shove myself backwards we're gonna to get to the right range of motion for you, which is for most people, not even getting to all the way straight here, because we wanna make sure that we keep our shoulder blades pinched back, not so intensely that it's the main focus of what you're doing, but enough to where they're not traveling forward. That's what's gonna allow us to really work on pec engagement in this exercise. I'm using that proper red light, green light tempo, so you can focus on all of the things that we've been talking about. Contracting my pecs and my triceps. Now on this machine, if you're doing this and you're thinking to yourself, self, wow, I'm getting only triceps on this. There's something that you can do, which is if you're like thinking, oh, triceps only, that's kind of weird, why no pecs? If you come to about halfway between all the way out and all the way back for you, and then holding it right here with the resistance on it, you try to pinch your hands together as though you're trying to pinch something in between them, that will cause your pecs to have to fire. Then you keep that pinch as you travel backwards and forwards. It's not the case that you wanna have all pecs or all triceps, but if you're feeling a predominance of triceps, you can pinch together a little bit to make sure we have a pretty even balance of both. And conversely, if you're feeling, wow, only pecs, then you can get about halfway out and then try to push your hands away from each other out this way. While they're staying on the handles, they're not moving at all. It's your intention to push them apart as you operate and that will bias your triceps a little bit more. So again, you can get an even balance of both if you're feeling a predominance of one versus the other. So again, I'll say it one more time because people think they understand it, but don't think about it intensely the whole time. The seat moves backwards. Don't think about the handles moving forwards. Try to keep those shoulder blades pinched back as you operate and don't get to all the way straight just because you think you need to get to all the way straight. If you get to all the way straight and notice that your shoulders start to round forward, that means we don't go there. So just get to where you can get to while you're keeping your shoulder blades back into the seat. And if you're truly, truly thinking about pushing yourself back into the seat, they should stay back because them coming forward would not help me push myself back into the seat at all. It would take pressure off of the seat. So if you're really pushing yourself backwards, you'll notice I can't push myself backwards anymore because my shoulders are gonna leave. So make sure, make sure, make sure every time that you keep that in mind because it's super easy to bail on it. And if you're not thinking about it at every single fraction of every single rep, you will stop thinking about it and then you'll start performing it in any willy nilly way that is not the way that I want you to based on this video.